obsessed over your credit score and your utilization ratios? Well, maybe you should check out this video to see if all your hard work is benefiting you or someone else. My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. For the best info in banking and financial advice, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Financing your lifestyle is more accessible now more than ever through the use of credit cards. And unfortunately, debt is really expensive if you're not using it wisely. So by the end of this video, we will be teaching you what the banks don't want you to know about debt. Did you know that 50% of Americans can't afford a $500 emergency without going into debt? For example, if your AC goes out this summer and you don't have the finances in your savings account, then how else are you going to pay for it? You're going to have to finance it through a bank. And what does that mean? That means you have to go into debt to fix the problem. And another example, say your transmission goes out in your car. Again, a lot of Americans don't have the cash on hand to be able to pay for an emergency like that. So they have to use that handy dandy credit card to be able to pay to fix their car. And now they've gone into debt to fix a problem. Money is a huge problem in the United States, but it's a huge opportunity for the banks. Because guess what? When you need money, where are you going to go and get it? Of course, you're going to swipe the credit card or go to the bank. Additionally, not only do we go into debt to finance our problems, we go into debt because we are constantly surrounded with advertisements. Mm -hmm. Did you know that the average American sees 5,000 advertisements a day? And guess who is supporting us and guiding us along the way to buy the things that we can't afford? Hey, I found this amazing computer. Finance it. Oh, I love this brand new shirt. It looks amazing. Finance it. What about this new watch? Finance it and don't worry, we'll give you points. Comment below with something you use your credit card for recently. And after this video, check out our good debt versus bad debt video so that you can really understand the difference between debt. Now, don't misinterpret what we're saying. We are business owners and we leverage debt to further our financial goals. What we're talking about is financial illiteracy, which means you're using consumer debt irresponsibly. What we want you to understand is that we are a part of a financial game. And it's unfortunately a game that a lot of Americans don't know how to play because the majority of American citizens are losing. The average American has over $6,000 in credit card debt. And as a society, we are $1 trillion in debt. And that debt makes up housing, student loans, credit card, and auto debt, which are all the things that the banks tell us we need in order to further our lives. And our American dream. How did we get this way? It's because our society is financially illiterate. The American people are slaves to the financial institutions. Just think about it. The financial institutions are making billions of dollars a year because they've created this game that only they know the rules to. Yeah, because take into consideration the debt system. The debt system is basically ruled by the credit system. So like we said earlier, are you obsessing over your credit score and your utilization ratios? It's because the bank has told you that you need to concentrate on these things so that you can work on your credit score to get more money from them because your credit score ultimately is a report card that's presented to you by the banks. Mm -hmm. And basically what they're trying to figure out is how good of a slave you are using their money. And they reward all the loyal slaves by giving you a higher credit score, which allows you to have access to more of their money so that you can continue to pay them more principal and interest every single year. Congratulations. <laughs> because I don't know about you, but we were taught that we need to get credit cards to build your credit and we need to buy things to build your credit and we also need to pay down our cards to build your credit and we need to get more cards to build your credit do you see where we're going with this and now you have three credit cards that you're using and paying down and using and paying down just to show the banks how loyal you can be and guess what you're not just doing this with your credit cards you're still doing this with your mortgage your car and your student loans so really think about the things that you do with your money and take a look at your annual statement. See how much money you're actually paying to the bank because the average American is paying more in interest than they're actually saving for themselves and their families. When you take a look at your statement, I promise you're going to be upset, but let us show you how you can keep your money and make the same returns as the bank. 
And again, the key is we want to show you how you can make the same returns. Oh, and what, now I'm thinking about it. Darius, share with our YouTube audience who, the company that you were talking to me about that was making an annual 10% return because it's something that they can do too. Oh, yeah. So this company, they have different accounts and they make from 10%, 15%, or even more than 20% every single year without fail. That's fantastic. All right, so, okay, so tell them what the company is. The credit card company. <laughs> <laughs> we got you. I bet you started paying closer attention. <laughs> Guess what? You can do the exact same thing by creating your own banking system so that every single year you can earn 10%, 15%, or 20% by using your money just like us. And how do we do this? Through the infinite banking concept. It's all about using a whole life insurance policy to create your own banking system mm -hmm. so that you can leverage the cash value inside that policy and finance your lifestyle as opposed to going to the banks. So you can keep all of that principal and interest for yourself every single year. So now that you know what the banks don't want you to know about debt, they are capitalizing on your financial illiteracy. And now that you know this, we want to help you. We've created a financial mastery course called the Money Blueprint. In this course, we teach you how to obtain a millionaire mindset, manage your money, how the banks work, and how you can do infinite banking so that you can be just as successful as the banks. And we want to gift you with the first module absolutely free. So after this video, make sure you click on the link below to get access to the first module on us. Also, if you want to join a like-minded community of individuals just like you, then join our Patreon community where we share up-to-date information regarding the infinite banking concept so that you can navigate through this sometimes tricky space and incorporate infinite banking into your lifestyle. And if you like this video, make sure you let us know by liking it, subscribing, and sharing it with someone else. And don't forget to own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.